Let's talk about the race for life. If you were involved in the race for life over the weekend, and there was a big one in Reading, there may well have been others as well, then please tell me what it was like. The weather wasn't brilliant, but I'd be interested to know the mo about the money you raised, the reason that inspired you to get involved in the whole thing. 0808 100 5 100. Here's Azair. Good morning. Morning. How Good. are you? I'm all right, thank you. Tell me about your race for life experience. Were you um, in the Prospect Park one? Yeah, yeah, I was in Prospect Park. Why did you do it? Well, I did it because I love to help people. This is just a minor thing, but people are just fighting bigger stuff in their life. Yeah. Which we need to help them, and we need to go with that pain through with them. So basically, you just think it's a great cause. Um, and um, how how much running do you do? How much uh, how much was this a big deal for you, or, or is it the sort of thing you do all the time? Uh, it's not, I don't do it much, but me and my dad, this is our second time doing it because we did it last year as well. Yeah. It's not it's not that big of a cause, but this year I was just ill a bit. I had a chest infection, but I still got through it. Oh, well done you. And do you know how much you've raised? Uh, I think we raised around 56,000. Oh, altogether. well, 56,000? Yeah, all together. Right. Um, and how so much? Because... It's not easy to get your, your fundraising up to that kind of level. So tell me, how, how, how have you managed to raise so much? Uh, it's just that people love helping. My neighbourhood is just full with loving people. Right. Even so, and I know this is not just yesterday's events, it's, it's over a longer period of time, £56,000 yeah. is a huge amount of money. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, well. Congratulations. Well done, you. And keep it up, because if you're able to um, not only do the running, but also that level of fundraising, then um, the um, organisations you're raising money for will be enormously grateful, uh, including Cancer Research UK. Thank you very much, Azair. You're great. Thanks very much for coming on. Thank you. From Azair to Tasha. Morning, Tasha. Good morning. Good morning. How was it for you yesterday? Oh, it was lovely. It was, it was really nice, yeah. What was it? Uh, see... I, I wasn't in Reading yesterday, I was in Abingdon, which is not a million miles away, but my yeah. experience of yesterday was basically raining most of the time. What was it like in Prospect Park? It was lovely, it was sunny. A little oh, bit perfect. Windy, but it was sort of like, give us the push, because it was hot, but it was windy. So it well, you, you, you don't want it to be out. boiling, right? You know, I mean, you no, don't exactly. need to be teeming with rain, but you don't need to be boiling hot when you're trying to run, especially if no. you're not really used to it. So a bit of breeze probably helped. Yeah, it was lovely. Tell me why you did it, Tasha. Well, my uncle John, we lost him in November last year um, to cancer. Yeah. Uh, he was unaware that he had it. He went to the hospital from a stroke and they'd um, done tests on him. They found out he had pneumonia. Um, they tested his lung, they took fluid off his lung and, and found out that he had cancer. So after that, it was three days after that, he um, passed. Oh, no. So it's obviously been a very difficult year in the family. Yeah, very, very difficult. And do, do you run all the time? Is running one of your things, or is this no. totally new for you? <laughs> it was totally new. We, um, me and my mum done it, Mary, my mum, um, my son's brother, uh, my son's sister, sorry. Um, we jogged and we, we walked, so we were in the joggers and walkers section, and it was lovely. We, um, good for you. We loved a each, so, yeah, it was good. Did you train for it, or not really? No. <laughs> we had the odd walk around town, and that was it, but... It was, yeah, it was good. It touched us. It was, it was nice. Well, what I love about your story is, it, it, you know, you, that, that, you make it sound like any, anyone could do it. You know, if you're yeah, not going to commit yeah, can do it. hours a week to training and all that, if you can do it jogging and walking and still yeah. raise some money and, you know, still feel like you've done something for the cause, then that's yeah. something we could all do, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, definitely. Do you know how much you raised? We raised, I'd say, between six and seven. We got to collect more, more today off paper. Uh, yes, we raised nearly 700, 700. Good for you. That money will be greatly appreciated. And um, Tasha, well done. And it, 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 People are often moved to do something when they've been through a bereavement yeah. like you guys have, and everyone understands that. Thank, thanks for coming on. Nice to chat. Right, thank you very much. From Tasha to Graham. Hi, Graham. Hi, right, good morning. How was it for you yesterday? Sounds like the conditions were pretty much perfect. Uh, conditions were really well, sunny, a uh, little bit of wind, uh, it was really good. And what inspired you to do the, this one? Because Azair does loads and loads of fundraising. Tasha did it for the very specific um, reason of the, the bereavement that she had just a few months ago. What about you? 
Uh, myself was my granddaughter who was diagnosed in uh, May with uh, ALL. What's ALL? Um, which is obviously ac acute um, lymphoma, and I can't remember the oh, last bit. Um, don't worry. It's basically a, a, a youngster's cancer. Um, she's only she was diagnosed at six months. Oh, Graham. Yeah, so she's been um, she's been in hospital now since um, May the seventh, I think it was. Uh, she's had bouts of chemo and antibodies. Yeah, and everyone listening will understand why then you you move to try and do something for the cause when your your six month old granddaughter's been diagnosed. Yeah, How the... yeah, I mean she's doing she's doing well at the moment. Uh, you know she's coming through it very well. And is it, I'm whether it's your son or daughter, but how are they, how are they coping? How are the parents coping? Um, they are coping really well, very strong. Uh, both mm -hmm. of them are very strong, to be fair. How much money did you raise through the um, uh, the, the uh, race for life yesterday? Uh, so it was two thousand one hundred eighty-five. That was between thirteen of us that all run. Uh, say run. Most of us run. Uh, some didn't. That was myself. Um, but yeah, we all we all completed it. Uh, Two thousand one hundred one hundred eighty-five pounds. Well done, you. Congratulations, Graham. Lots of love to your family. Fingers crossed. What's your granddaughter's name? Uh, her name is Nola Ray. Yeah, well, we're all thinking about it, having heard the, the story you've told us this morning. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. No, much pleasure. Thanks a lot for listening. If you did the race for life, ring the show, 0808 100 5100. Here's Alex with the forecast. Morning, Alex.